Welcome. Let's learn how to cannulate using ultrasound. First, make sure the machine is plugged in. The machine is best set up on the side opposite to the arm being cannulated. Setting up yourself and the patient properly will make it easier for success. This is a typical array of the equipment you'll be required to use. Generally, a longer cannula is required. 18 or 20 gauge is commonly used. Now, let's see how to set up the software on the machine. There are a number of functions available on this screen. The one that we are after is this one here. We then want to pick the linear probe. And from here, you can scroll through and pick Venus. Here we go. You must perform hand hygiene before and after setting up the cannulation equipment. Since this procedure requires strict aseptic non-touch technique and ultrasound gel makes everything slippery, it is important to prepare all of your equipment in advance. Arrange your equipment in the order of use and bring the trolley close for easy reach. Uncap your bung Prime your flush and partially peel your dressings. Remember, this technique requires a longer length cannula. Place your patient's arm in an optimal position and lay an absorbent sheet and pillow underneath. Apply a tourniquet as high up on the arm as possible to maximise your selection of veins. It's highly important to perform a scout scan. This can be done with standard conduction gel. Please take note of the blue probe marker and the depth, in this case, 3.5 centimetres. The probe should be correctly orientated with the marker to the left in the transverse approach and upwards when longitudinal. Optimise the depth to focus on the vein and important surrounding structures. Now, optimise the gain as needed. The aim of a scout scan is to identify a suitable length of vein whilst avoiding other important structures such as arteries, tendons, nerves, etc. Veins are easily compressible and non-pulsatile structures, whereas arteries are pulsatile and quite hard to compress. Select a long section of vein to match the chosen cannula. Next, apply the probe cover. Use a mixture of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol to prepare the skin. Use only sterile gel for further steps. Ensure that your position allows a direct line of vision of the screen and the site of insertion. Tighten the tourniquet. Keep the vein in the middle of the screen. Match the distance of the site of insertion from the probe to the depth of the vein. Slide the probe to assess the direction of the vein. Combining a transverse and longitudinal approach will improve your success rate. Wipe and insert cannula through gel-free skin. Insert the needle in transverse view until you can visualise the needle tip. Slide the probe up to view the advancing tip. Turn the probe to a longitudinal view and confirm placement. Once satisfied, deploy the cannula over the needle and continue procedure as normal.
Clean away all remaining gel carefully and apply dressings, ensuring the insertion site and colour of the cannula remain visible. Please do not forget to document the date, indicate ultrasound guidance and aseptic technique on the labels. Once the procedure is complete, please turn off the machine. Use Tuffy Wipes to clean both the probe and the machine. Secure the probe safely and return the machine to its charging point. Please dispose of sharps and all clinical waste appropriately. Despite good technique, sometimes things don't go as planned. Here is quite a common problem. On transverse view, it appears as though the cannula is in. You have a flashback yet the cannula will not advance. Pick up the probe and slide it up the arm until you find the needle tip. As suspected, it looks like the needle tip has punctured the far wall of the vein. Fixing this should be quite an easy task. Carefully reposition the needle using ultrasound guidance. 